All right, welcome back to Mind Over Magnet. This is part two. Uh, last time we made it to, I believe, World Four, um, and the game was starting to ramp up in difficulty. So I'm I'm excited to see uh, how far that that ramp continues. My name is Xander. In case I forgot to say that earlier. Okay, we are on the production floor. The, do you not know what product you make? Okay, fair enough. I mean, me neither, I guess. Yeah. True. Okay. We are looking for third magnet, right. Um... Okay, so I need to... Oh, whoops. It's going to take me a second to get used to the controls again. Okay. Lots of conveyor belts going on here. Sensing a, a motif. Okay, cool. Love that. Hey, that is a different magnet. Okay. We're busting out. I'm really curious what would have happened if I had gone the the other route. Okay, F changes polarity. Good to know. Um, oh, I suppose I need to do something like that. Okay. That's, that's actually huge because now I have more control uh, over left and right movement in magnetic fields. Love that for me. Okay, so we go up uh, this way. kind of toss you down here. Yep, that works. Okay. So we've got... Oh, okay. That's, that's a time-based thing. Interesting. Oh, okay. Hmm. So... Just realized I do not need to be standing on that button. Like... Nope, not quite like that. Okay. I actually need to wait for it to come over more. Sorry, I gotta iron out all of the, uh, the, I, I don't know. I just gotta get back in the zone. Close. And now, almost. Maybe if I go at more of an angle instead of just straight up. Like this. Okay, almost. Okay, I'm gonna try to stand on like this third screw here in the floor. How about now? There we go. Oh, hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I did not consider this. Okay, so you need to come up. Oh, but the bar's just gonna push you off. Oh no. Okay. So I need to throw... 
Huh. What happens if I push the button again before it's like all the way back? Okay, well that didn't quite answer my question, but that's okay. So like if I pressed it now. Okay, nothing, it has to be fully reset. Ooh, okay. That's kind of tricky. I mean, I could push F over and over again and just try to get it to levitate in the right spot, I guess. Doesn't seem like quite the right solution, but... Um, I guess we'll find out. Nope. Okay. I think, um... I think the control for this being F is, like, a deliberate choice to try and dissuade that. Because it's very awkward to do with, with one hand whilst moving. Although I, I can move with arrow keys, I guess. But then that messes with my aiming, and that's a whole thing. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna give it, like, one honest attempt, and if it doesn't work, I will try something else. When will I learn? Oh. Oh! You know what? Hadn't even considered that, to be honest. Okay, so what I can do is hit that, run down here, and then flip you. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, that's way easier than what I was going to try to do. <laughs> okay. So this does what? I see. So I need to attempt to fly with this, kind of. Eh. Okay. Wait, so if the switch is flipped like this, like I can still, okay. Whoops. My bad. I almost did the exact same thing again. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's more like it. Okay, do we have some kind of, like, counterweight situation going on here? Evidently, yes. Okay, so if I... Yeah, about that. So I need some way to trigger... What? Okay, hmm. What happens if I just throw you on top? Really? Okay. Interesting. What if I just run really fast? No. See, and the, the magnet's gonna slide way too fast down the ramp here for that to happen. Hmm. Maybe I just go over the whole thing. Yeah, I can jump up here. Ah. The easiest way to solve the puzzle is to avoid the puzzle. Okay. 
So I'm up here now. What does this do? Okay. So if I were to... throw you, then I could reverse that. Oh, but I need to throw it and get it to land on this side so it slides onto the button. Okay, I see. I see the full picture now. There is something to be said for every time I feel that way in this game. It seems like there's always another thing that I had not considered, but... Okay, so that's too far. Oops. Sorry. Perfect. Love it. That does not land at all where I thought it would. That's unfortunate. Okay. I mean, how long is the timer? long enough for me to set this up. Good. I was worried it was going to be, like, really short, and I wouldn't have time to do anything except run. Made the classic mistake of assuming anything in a puzzle game. And generally, not advisable. Okay, so this... Let's me get up here. Sure. And I need to... I need to figure out a way to get down now. Is that... Ah, okay. Sure. Whoa, okay, I saw that. It's a good bit of uh, level design teaches, teaches you things just by kind of letting it happen and showing it to you. Okay, so we've got flippers here. And this does that. Okay. And so I need to figure out a way to presumably get on top of that block, but also have this magnet go up at the same time? That doesn't seem possible. Well, okay, what if I just throw it? No, okay. See, I, I was thinking, what if I just threw it to flip it? Okay. Hmm. That's weird. So, hear me out. Like, I, I walk all the way over here, and then right at the last second... Yeah, no, that's not good enough. Um... Is there any way to activate that magnetic field without have that was <laughs> that was kind of fun, um, right? Because if I'm if I'm like here, can I just throw you far enough? Like if I throw you on the slope? No. Okay. All right, and let's try something else. Yeah, because I need that to be active for me to be able to flip the switch that lets me get up. Well, okay, hold on. Maybe I'm overcomplicating things. Maybe if I just throw this... No, because the moment it comes down, it turns the, the the field off. 
So even if I were to flip this switch and walk over there with the magnet, it still wouldn't be active. Like, it would basically just be undoing everything. Yeah, okay, this is... this is a hard one. Hmm. Now, okay, I am noticing <laughs> just now that the respawn point for the magnet is directly above... It's directly above this. I don't know how that helps me yet, but I feel like it will. Right, so obviously this needs to be on. Yep. Um, so that way this can go up here. If that just falls down, it doesn't do anything. I mean, I knew it wouldn't, but it's still disheartening. Um, hmm. Okay, is there... No, no, that's, that's... I was thinking, like, is there a way to, like, crush the magnet uh, over here with this block and get it to respawn on this and do... But like, if the, the if the magnet's over there while this field is active at all, then that solves our problem to begin with. So doesn't matter. Um, hum, 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 hum. hum. Kind of a janky little corner. You know what? I'm going to check this this little hint system because I'm I'm curious on how it works. Oh, I go up with it. I had not considered. Okay. Yeah, I can just barely get enough height for that. Okay. Fair play. And now I can let it go. Okay. Yeah, I I don't know if I would have gotten that one because I, I just didn't think I had enough height on my jump for that. Okay. Good to know that that is how that hint system works. It looks like there's like another layer to it that you can access after playing for a little bit more time, which I think is interesting. Okay, so you can sit up there and this does not get me far enough over. Okay, I see I see what we have to do here. Yeah, you think you're so so sneaky. See that one's not so bad. Okay. Uh, let's see where this gets us. Okay, so that needs to be flipped and the magnet needs to be thrown at roughly the same time. I see the issue. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So I need to be up here. Do I need to be the one hitting this, though? Well, because both of these have to happen, like, at the same time. And... Yeah, I can't throw that high anyways. Okay, so I do need to be up here. That is step one. And if I just like throw you up there, 
Yeah, no, that does not give me nearly enough time to get all the way through there. I just do like a weird janky toss. Hmm. Okay. I need to consider the possibility of maybe like both of us hitting this? No, okay. If I run straight off, it just doesn't give me quite enough force to actually push it down. Not even close, okay. Well, see this one's tough because I really don't have them that many options to work with here. Um, when I bring this down, how far does it go? Not nearly far enough for me to be able to jump on it. Um, let's think here. Yeah, it just doesn't give me quite enough distance. Very deliberately. Can I throw it while I'm on here? No, not at all. Well, do a little wiggle while I think. Yeah. Is there any way for me to get up here on my own without the magnet? I really don't think so. <laughs> um, man. feel awkward just like standing here and staring at it, but that's kind of the point we're at. Okay, what are our goals? We need to flip this and pull this at the same time. Um, our options are we can... We can come up here, which allows us to flip this. But from here, we cannot pull this at the same time. Not within the, the, the time limit. Okay, I have an idea, maybe. I was trying to see if there was maybe a way that I could get pulled onto that, but I don't think that would let me like fling myself far enough to get anywhere. Besides you, you kind of go like downwards pretty quickly. Like there's, there's not a whole lot of flinging to be flung. Um. Yeah, I, I'm i kind of at a loss on this one. Because I can throw... Well, that wasn't quite what I meant to have happen, but that's okay. Is there a way that I can like throw the magnet like that? Not that it would necessarily help anything. Um, I mean, I can throw it up. 
I mean, that lets me land a little faster. Maybe, maybe that's worth something after all. No. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Maybe if I do it the other way around. Maybe if I fling the magnet instead of myself. I, that's, that's pretty close to what I need it to be. Let's, let's see here. Right, so if I leave you like here. Yeah, okay, angle does matter on that. That's a cool puzzle, I like it. Security breach, Five Nights at Freddy's, ho, 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 ho. So that, oh, okay. That's cool, love that. Little one-way gate action going on. And I need to get you over here. So I can do that, okay. Introducing the mechanic, and now it's going to be here to kick my ass. <laughs> that's kind of that. That's kind of been the the vibe of this game so far. Is it's like, oh, okay, here's here's this mechanic. Here's how it works. Um, and now it is going to demolish you in the next room. Okay. So I need to what? There's something to do with... Okay, real quick. Can I, like, fling the, the, the magnet if it's in here? Like, if I do this and then, like, change the polarity, can I get any distance off of that? Definitely not. Although that is very amusing. Okay. So let's get as far as we can get and see where that takes us. So we're over here. If I throw you onto this button, yeah, that just doesn't get me over there fast enough. It's a very inconvenient block that was just a little shorter. And, okay. So the goal is to have the magnet let go of the button somehow while I'm over here. Or, or, alternatively, what if I press the button and then try to chuck it <laughs> far enough? <laughs> Don't think that's I mean, I could leave it on here and just kind of see if it does anything, do a little experimenting. That's really it. Oh, hmm. Aha. Well, that's an issue. Yeah. So, okay, let's turn on this bridge. I don't understand the the function of this bridge yet. 
Okay, okay. I see the potential. Because if I were to drop the magnet off of here while the bridge is down, then it could open this up. So that's something. But how does that help me achieve my goal, necessarily? <laughs> Like, okay, let's let's just say, for example, that you are stuck up here, and then I flip this, and unflip you, then I can cross to the other side, but nothing has changed? Like, I might as well be down here right now because, like, nothing is pressing this button, so nothing new is happening since the, like, beginning state of the game. Huh. I just sworn that this block just like blinked at me with like a red outline or something. Did it? Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. I think I see what I need to do. So, okay, before I get too carried away, um, I need this bridge active, I think. No. Do I? Okay, let me let me test the thing that I think I saw before I bank too heavily on it. So we throw this here, and then if we flip the thing, ah, it will keep it elevated. Enough for me to jump up there. So... Hmm. This is interesting. So now, now the goal has shifted from like, how do I get over here with the magnet pushing this button? Because I don't need to have that anymore. Um, I need to just be here while the magnet falls. And this is upright. So how do I... How do I get this to raise and stay raised while being on the other side? Right, because if I flip that, then the, the thing falls over. But if I flip that, then I can't get the magnet down here to trap it, which means I can't get back over. Well, okay, okay, hold on now. I have an idea. Um, for that idea, let's toss you up here, slide you here, and now you're already down there. So now I can push the button and then flip. Okay, okay, good puzzle. Love it. Okay, we got a little little story break, I think. Maybe. Yes, Magnus is back. Okay. This is the whole crew, I see. Okay. Oh god, there are two magnets now. Oh god, oh fuck. Okay. I didn't expect this to happen this soon, but I guess that's the end of that world. Okay. Okay. 
there is a solid possibility that this is the, the final world of the game, or there is one more. But like, I don't see how it gets too much more complicated than having two magnets and one of them can flip polarities. Okay. So you can sit there and wait that down. That's good. Love it. I need a negative magnet for this. You fly on up here. Wait, but now how do I get how do I get you off of there? Oh. Well, that's not good. I, I hmm. The thing is, I don't understand what Magnus can do here exactly besides just be a weight for that because I don't have any like fields that he can interact with. Oops. That was kind of cool. Oh, you can stack them on top of each other. That's that's fun. Um Okay, well the fact remains I definitely need uh uh men to get up here. And so is do they like react to each other? Like if I throw you if it lets me can I not throw Magnus? Am I going insane? I can only throw her? Okay, this is news to me. I mean, it makes sense. She is smaller. Ah, okay. There it is. A puzzle that uh, teaches you something fundamental about the, the rules of the game. They can, they can move each other. Good to know. Okay. So I, I may have already accidentally discovered the solution to this. So if I leave you here, I stack you on top, and then I flip this. Yeah, okay, okay. It's interesting that that's actually something you have to do. All right. What do we got here? Definitely can't reach that one. Good to know. All right. And this will... Oh. Weird. Okay. So the, the flippers, this one interacts with this one, but not the other way around. It is not reciprocated. I don't know if that's necessarily proper usage of that word, but I would like to imagine it is. Dang, okay. Almost. If I do that, okay, that's that's what I have to do. So now I can ride this up and just jump off and then flip you. I don't have to have them both down at the same time. Okay. So that will raise anything that is on that section of the bridge. That doesn't last terribly long. 
I'm assuming this needs to be active. Um, okay, that seems like a good step one. But how do I, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so if I bring you over more like this way, and then I have now set you up so you can land on the button for me while I am levitating with this guy. much closer to the exit. So we drop that and run. Okay, nice. Side by side. Okay. Well, I mean, I can like throw you over there. And that will bring you down, yes. And then I cannot get high enough for that. But I can use you as an umbrella, get under the laser. So I can pick you up. Right? Right? Maybe, maybe not. I jump on you. No. You'd think I would have tested that much sooner. Um. Okay, so you, you need to be up here eventually. And somehow you will help with that. Oh, I see. So I need to... Um, wait, how does one of you not get stranded over here? Oh, like that. That's really sneaky. Okay, that's like literally the perfect height for that too. So it, it feels very intentional. And then you can jump up there, you can flip, and then you run over here, okay. It's weird, you wouldn't think there would be like that much more to learn about like the properties of the magnets that have been with you the entire game, but here we are. Okay, what do we got here? Let's go up, oops. And, okay. Oh. Okay, what does this... What does this flipper do? I don't know as though the flipper actually does anything. Okay, this is going to be really stupid if it doesn't work, but it's going to be genius if it does. Oh. <laughs> okay, I almost had the right idea. This is it, she says. See, now that makes me almost a little worried because like, if this is the final puzzle, then it's probably gonna be hard. <laughs> like really hard is my guess. Oh, well that's unfortunate. Okay, from the top, I throw you here. Then I run over and flip that on. 
Yep. And now I drop down here. I pick you up. And now we're both here. Huzzah. Okay, that's part one. Part two <laughs> is whatever's going on here. I don't even know. Okay, so this activates all of the, the one-way platforms for this. That's good to know. Um, I am assuming I need to make this first little adventure with you. And then toss you over there. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I like it. Okay. We're like... Yeah, kind of elevatoring ourselves here. Um, and then you can wait here while I go pick up you. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, the central gimmick of the game. I shouldn't call it a gimmick. It's a really solid mechanic. This is it, huh? Okay. So, tossing you up here. Turns that on. Oops. Okay, so you already need to be here. And then... Like so. All right, I'm ready. Ha! <laughs> nice, big, big spring. Okay, this is apparently the end. Okay, we're out. Friendship. Let's start our own factory where we can make nothing. <laughs> oh, dude, a pool table in the break room? I would be the only one that can play. I, you, you guys don't have arms. That is, that is the question. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And so now, before um, I call it quits, um, first of all, let's let's uh, appreciate the the credits here, and then I want to go back to Fork in the Road and see what happens if I try to take the other route. Because at this point, it feels like like the way I took is kind of the only way that I could have taken because obviously like the 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 throwable magnet is such a uh, like central mechanic of that section of the game and so I can't imagine like like I don't know we're we're at the end of the game and I feel like there aren't any mechanics that I don't know that the other path could have taught me but out of curiosity, I'm still going to look. Um, so, okay. There's there's a lot of patrons here. Four of them are named B for some reason. That was kind of funny. Um, I'm going to quit to title. New game. Oh. Oh, it starts me from like the start start. Okay. Interesting. Um... I'm going to go back to Fork in the Road and just play through the game, which should be a lot faster now that I know all the solutions, um, assuming I remember them. And I will see you when I get there. Okay, here it is, Fork in the Road. Okay, what's up there? I don't know. Actually, I do know, because that's the way we went last time. Yeah, okay. So, 
instead. Okay, okay. Oh, there isn't a split path because you can't pick up Magnus. Okay, well, I like the the implication that that is, you know, an alternate path that he takes to meet up with you. I just wish that there is a level select to find that out a little bit faster. Okay, so be, before I, I quit, let's look at, oh, world select. Why is that hidden in extras? That's very odd. Huh. Okay. There's a cool, like, I'm assuming this is developer commentary type thing. That's, that's awesome. I love that. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just gonna go over my, my thoughts on the game here. I, I do think it's really good. Um, I think for the most part, it is very well polished. There's some fantastic puzzles in here. Um, and the, the magnet characters, I went into it with the impression that they might get a little bit annoying and here and there they do, but also it, it's, uh, I, I made this comparison last video to the, the flowers from Mario wonder where it's like most of the time, like it doesn't come across as annoying and it's still like endearing and back then i couldn't figure out why i thought about it a little more and i think it's because most of the time when like they say something in a level it's to just kind of emphasize some kind of like cool solution that you had to come up with yourself so like you're already feeling good about yourself and then the magnet talking gets like associated with that positive feeling, which I, I think is a interesting way to go about it. And I'm not sure how intentional that was, but it works. Um, my, my only gripes are, well, first of all, we just discovered that world select does exist, but it's hidden in extras. Um, just, just throw that on the title screen, honestly. Um, and then, um, beyond that, the throwing mechanics, like, when you throw, um, the magnet and it bounces a little bit, I feel like that can be a little hard to predict, and it is required sometimes for it to... Uh, slide a particular distance and you know it's nothing that can't be solved with some trial and error but sometimes you have to like undo uh, a part of a solution to a puzzle just to get to the point that you were at again and that can get a little bit tedious that is literally like the only real gripe that I have with how this game plays I think aesthetically it is very clean the art style is uh, cute, distinctive. Um, the backgrounds are really nice. The music is great. Um, the, the one thing that I can comment on, which is not necessarily bad, but could be improved for, um, games that Mark Brown decides to make in the future, because I'm assuming he will. Um, this is like the one piece of game design that I have any amount of like expertise to to talk in and that's sound design because I, I did take like a college course on uh, doing sound design for games um, and implementing it specifically through a program called WISE into Unity. Um, not that this requires like a particular software setup like that. But um, the main thing I want to talk about is sound effects. The sound effects that are here are really good, but there is not a whole lot of variation to them, right? Like when you, when you throw a magnet, it makes the exact same sound when it hits the ground every single time with no variation. And that kind of draws your attention to the fact that it is just like a static sound clip that is being played over and over again. And so what you'll hear a lot of the time is um, you'll, you'll hear 
one or or two of of the the following techniques where either there will be a similar but a different sample that plays when that particular sound effect is triggered and uh, it'll choose between like a bank of them at random. Um, I I did some experimenting with this in that college class and it seems like five is kind of the sweet spot where it sounds like genuinely random as long as um, like the same one doesn't repeat over and over again, which uh, Wise does have an option for. Um, but again, I'm assuming that there are ways to get that to not happen outside of that program. Um, and the other thing is um, slightly varying the pitch of the sound effect when it does play. Um, so you'll have like a range set where it could be, you know, be like plus or minus like 10% of its original uh, speed slash pitch. And that will give it like just enough variation, especially in combination with the multiple sound effects to pull from, that will make it sound less um, less static and more natural. I feel like that's the only thing aesthetically that can be improved with this game. Other than that, I think it's fantastic. I think it's a little short and I mean, definitely on the easier side, but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I do wish that there were just a little bit more to dig into, um, especially because some later game mechanics, like you know, having the two magnets or that uh, that door flipper thing with the the different polarities, I feel like those could be explored a little bit more. Um, and um, I, I can't help but draw comparisons to. Um, similar puzzle platformer uh, extraordinaire Alekman. Obviously not every game is going to be on uh, Alekman's level, but that has like secrets that you can find um, with clever use of the mechanics. And I feel like that is a way to go about um, making, making more out of what you already have, right? Um, all you would need is like some kind of uh, like secret uh, pit that could be revealed by uh, one of those flipping doors um, or, or something along those lines. Um, and all of a sudden, like it, it makes you feel like even smarter for having discovered it, even if it's uh, maybe on accident. But if you're really hunting for it now that you like know that they exist after stumbling onto one, like... That, that can be a really rewarding way to lengthen the lifespan of this type of game um, instead of just getting to the end and, oh, okay, that's it. Um, I also think, and like this, this is maybe like a little outside the, the scope of um, what the, the developer might be comfortable with, with here, but I think having some kind of level editor where you can, um, you know, share puzzles with friends. I mean, that kind of thing kept, uh, like portal alive for years and years afterwards. And I do think that there is, um, enough meat in the mechanics of this game to at least potentially give it a longer lifespan that way. Obviously then you have to, you know, set up all of the the connectivity between uh different games and uh I, I i don't know the logistics of like how feasible that would be to implement um but again like aside from that great game and the fact that like my only real complaint is that i wish there was more of it <laughs> is a good sign that is a great place for a game like this to be um, and so as someone who's been waiting for this game to uh, come out for, I mean, ever since uh, I, I saw the first Game Maker's Toolkit video on it, I would say it's definitely worth uh, the, the $10 that you would spend on it. It's, uh, it's a nice experience. It, 
gives you a lot of very uh, satisfying to figure out puzzle solutions. I only had to use uh, the the hint system one time, but I feel like um, it's probably uh, generous enough that like if you're not as used to this type of game, or maybe if uh, uh, if like your younger kid wants to play it or something, I feel like they could uh, spend potentially more time on this trying to figure stuff out or they could just use the hints and get to the end would whatever they feel like and having that option is great um again yeah just a, a very very pleasant little experience um i'm not gonna assign like a number to it or anything because i always feel like that's kind of arbitrary but uh i will say this like if you liked what you saw here um it, it feels even better to like actually be playing it than to just watch footage of it. Um, the, the game feel here is fantastic. And yeah, I, I think it's genuinely worth the, the $10 that it costs on Steam. I think nine for uh, the, the next little while a after launch. Um, but yeah, I, I would recommend this game if you're interested at all. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, type magnet. There's never going to be a, a, a better video to type magnet in the comments. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. A uh, Goodbye.